Sima is investigating the possibility of holding a soccer competition between schools. It is proposed that every team plays the other team once. We want to complete this table. Okay, so we'll start uh, in reality. You can't have zero team or one team. When there's one team, there's no competition. The competition actually starts when it you have got two teams. So we'll start from here. So if there are two teams, there's only one match that can be played. Okay. If there are three, let's investigate. If there are three teams, how many matches can be played? So I made this table. So if there are two teams, so let us do a tick for the match that is yelled and across where, where it is not possible. Now A playing A is not possible. So A versus B is possible. A versus B is same as B versus A. So this is a repeat, so I'm not doing anything yet and B versus B is also not possible. So there's only one possibility, one match when there are two teams. Now there are, if there are three teams, this is not possible. A versus B is possible. A versus C is possible. B versus A is already, A versus B is the same thing as this. I'm not doing any. B versus B is not possible. And B versus C is possible. Okay. Now C versus A, is same as A versus C, so I'm keeping this blank. C versus B is same as B versus, so this is also blank and this is also not possible. So there are three games possible here, one, two, three. If suppose there are four teams, say this is not possible, so let us cross the things that are not possible. So this is possible. B versus A is already done, so I'm keeping it blank. B versus C is possible. This is also possible. This is again repeat. A, C, A versus C is already done, so I'll keep this blank. B versus C is already done, so this is also repeat. So this is only possible here. Yeah. This is again. Uh, A versus D is done, so these three are repeats. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So here you've got six matches. Here you've got three matches, and here we've got only one match. So let us come back, complete this table. So when you've got three, there are three matches. And when there are four matches, sorry, four teams, you've got six matches. Now we want to see whether we can establish a relationship between these two uh, variables. So let's say the number of team is, uh, we represent that by letter N and number of games by letter G. So our ultimate goal is to find whether there's a relation between G and N. Now, to find uh, a relationship between two set of numbers, uh, let's do first find the first difference. When I say the first difference, it is the first difference between the second variable. So I'll make two columns. I'll explain this later on. So this is the second difference. Okay, the first difference, so let me change color. This is called the first difference. The difference between 1 and 3 is 2. So the first difference is 2. What's the difference between 3 and 6? So here it is 3. So this difference is increasing uh, consistently. Okay, so if, if there are 5, this second difference, if this is following the same pattern, Two, three. Now the next number should be four. So let's exp let me explain how you can. What's the relation between this number and this number and this? So one plus two is three. Okay, one plus two is three. Three plus three is six. So six plus four should be ten. Yeah, we can. You can check that yourself. Make uh, a column of five. Uh, two columns of five teams, and then you'll find there are ten possible matches. Okay, so let me change this into six. Let me change this into six. So if there are six teams, if it has to same follow the same pattern, it has to be this number. Second difference has to be five. So this has to be 15. Okay, so now let's follow the fat pattern backwards. If you follow the pattern backwards, 
the the second difference is increasing by so let's look at the second difference second difference is one year this is also one and this is also one so if you go backwards the second difference has to be has to be one the second difference has also to be one so if you decrease this by one i hope you understand see 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So if you go backwards, you have to take away. 2 minus 1 is 1 year. And again, the second difference has to be 1. The second difference is constant. Okay. So if the second difference is 1 year, the number should be 0 year. So here you are taking away. This way you add. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10 and so on. So if you go backwards... 1 minus 1 should be 0, yeah? And 0 take away 0 should be 0. Now, what is the meaning of these numbers? Okay, now, as the second difference, so you can remember this as a rule, okay? If the second difference is constant, if the second difference is constant or is remaining same doesn't change is constant you can say this is a quadratic this implies this number pattern is a quadratic pattern it is a quadratic number pattern now quadratic number pattern has this formula if you have seen in books a quadratic number pattern generally is in terms of y and x is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. This is the general form of any quadratic equation or quadratic pattern. Now, instead of y and x, we're going to say this is your y can be replaced by g and x can be replaced by n. So for our case, we can say, well, if this is a quadratic pattern, g has to be a times n squared plus b times n plus c. So this is should be the relationship between the number of games, g for the number of games, and n for the number of teams. Okay, so n for number of teams, and g for the number of games. Okay, so now the second rule that you can remember is, the second rule of any quadratic pattern is, a is always is always half of the second difference is always half of second difference for any if the second difference is constant then only you can say it's a quadratic pattern and once it is established that it says quadratic pattern you can say a which is the coefficient of n squared I'll put a like this inverted comma a is this a is always half of the second difference. So in this case, what's the second difference? The second difference is 1. So here this implies, in this case, A should be half of 1, which is 1 half. So A would be always, not always, in this case it is 1 half. And is always the half of the second difference. Okay. The third rule, it's good to remember some rules here. So the third rule in this case, is C, C, which is this, I'm talking about this C, so let me put this in inverted comma, C is always, C is always the Y value, Y value, in this case we can say it is the G, when X is equal to zero, so this is in for all examples generally you can call this when x is equal to 0 in this case when n is equal to 0 in our case we have replaced x by n so this is the general rule c is the y value which is g in this case when x is equal to 0 when n is 0 so let's go back to the table when n is 0 your g is also 0 okay we're going to check this so you don't need to believe me uh, as I am saying. So we can say, well, this implies C has to be 
or c is 0. Okay, so what's the quadratic equation? We wrote the quadratic equation g is equal to a n squared. So let me scroll this up slightly. g is a n squared plus b n plus c. Now we are saying a is half and c is 0. This implies, so let me change color. This implies our equation becomes g is equal to half n squared a is half, so half n squared. I don't know what is b, so I'll write b n plus 0, plus c is 0. Okay, so this implies g is equal to half n squared plus b n. Now we need to figure out b. For that, we'll have to substitute any value of n and g. Okay, so let's substitute this value. So this is your this is your n and this is your g. So we can say when n is 3, your g is also 3. So let's write that. So we know when n is or when g is 3, your n is also 3. So let us put this back in this equation. So we are going to find now b. So 3 is equal to half times your n is 3 squared plus b times 3. So your 3 is half times 9. Half times 3 squared is 9 plus 3b. Okay, we're almost there. So 3, half of 9 is, half times 9 is 4.5 plus 3b. So taking away 4.5 from both sides, so 3 minus 4.5 is equal to 3b. So 3b is negative 1.5. Negative 1.5. So dividing both sides by 3, so we can say 3b divided by 3 is equal to negative 1.5 divided by 3. So we can say b is negative 0 0.5 and negative 0 0.5 we can write as a fraction is negative half okay so now we can write the equation g is half times because this is where we were we say we were figuring out so let me write it here so that you can understand so g is half times n squared so half n squared your b is we just saw that b is negative half, so we can say this is equal to minus negative one half n. Okay, so this is how you can get the answer. Now, let's check whether this equation works. Okay, so yeah, so let's let me write this. So g is half n squared minus half n gives you the relationship between the number of games and the number of teams. So let's check this on a calculator. So go to your table menu. If you have graphic calculator, go to graph, uh, table menu and type in, this is y1, which is g. So you can say half is same as 0.5x squared minus 0.5x okay or 0.5x and set the table from 1 to 5 okay and let's see what happens or oh, let me change from 1 to yeah 1 to 5 is what we can check so go to table uh, can you see when 1 it's 1 it is 0 okay so when 2 it is 1 so let me scroll this up to this side so that it, so that you can see so let me scroll this up so can you see when x is when x is when n is two it is one when it is three it is three when it is four it is six when it is five it is ten okay and if you scroll if you keep suppose change this uh, from one to say let us go up to one to twenty and then uh, go execute and table so you keep going. And this is how you can find, yeah. Uh, now, we need to find when they got, so we already answered this. 
we have this n when when it is n so let me use a red color when it is n this in terms of n would be half n squared minus half n okay now we need to answer when you've got 105 teams there are how many so the 105 matches there are how many teams let's answer this so we have got now let me scroll up so your g is 105 number of games is 105 the question is what is n so let's first use algebra to figure out this so 105 is uh, half n squared minus half n I want to get rid of this half so I'm going to multiply the whole thing by 2 so 2 times 105 is equal to 2 times half n squared minus 2 times half n so what I've done is I multiplied the whole thing by 2 so 2 times half gets cancelled so the equation is 105 times 2 is 210 is equal to n squared minus n now this is a quadratic equation so I'll take away 210 from both sides so 0 is equal to n squared minus n minus 210 so now you got n squared minus n minus 210 is equal to 0 so now we want to find the two factors of 210 which gives you 1 okay so let us play with 210 so 210 uh, I hope you can see is 21 times 10 21 times 10 is 210 so let us split this up this 21 is 7 times 3 and this is this is called uh, prime factors 2 times 5 okay so what I've done is uh, split this into the prime factor so can you see two numbers which you multiply you get 210 and if you add you get 1 so you can stop this video and try to figure out the two numbers so I can see this is 7 times 2 is 14 and 3 times 5 is 15 so 14 times 15 so let me show that on a calculator so this is what I mean if it goes 15 times 14 is 210 and 15 minus 14 is oops, 15 minus 15 minus 14 is 1 so the two factors are 15 and 14 15 times 14 is 210 and minus 15 or minus 15 times 14 is minus 210 so let me write that like this minus 15 times 14 is minus 210 and minus 15 plus 14 is negative 1 or minus 1 so this is minus 1 so the two factors are let me use this color so this is n minus 15 times n plus 14 is equal to 0 so this means n when would this become 0 when n is 15 and when would this become 0 when n is negative 14 but n cannot be negative but n has to be great because n stands for the number of teams so n has to be greater than 0 this implies when n is 15 or when there are 15 teams you can have 110 sorry 105 matches okay so let me show that on the calculator go to the table menu hopefully it is there yeah it's there and let me scroll down to 15 when there are 15 matches there are sorry when there are 15 teams there are 105 matches